Flames got at a wing of a Port Wyneme hotel early this morning. It happened at the Casa Via Mar Inn on West Channel Islands Boulevard. News Channel 3's Kelsey Gerkins joins us live. And Kelsey, this fire broke out just before 5.30 this morning. CJ, the fire sent two people to the hospital and they were being treated for smoke inhalation after escaping the blaze. Today I was able to talk to one of the victims just hours after she returned from the hospital. It was really, really scary because they put me in an ambulance and then they had my kids and, you know, you don't know where everybody's at. It's everything is dark and it's chaos and sirens and, you know, people running all over the place. The Aguilar family was sleeping in their hotel room at the Casa Villamar Inn in Port Wyneme when someone pounding on their door woke them up. We opened up the front door. <sighs> Sorry, that's when, like, all the smoke started coming in. And I couldn't find my two boys. It was just, everything was black. You couldn't see anything. As flames consumed the hotel room just a few doors down, Joanne, who is expecting another child this week, gathered up her children and did what she could to escape the flames. And um, trying to go downstairs, there's people that are rushing behind you. So I'm pregnant, trying to balance myself. And then I have my two boys and, you know, try not to slip and fall. And then that's when... You know, you're just looking around and you see these big flames coming out. You see firemen on top of the roof. You see people trying to kick in the door because nobody was answering. Everyone was able to safely escape the hotel, but Joanne and her young son were taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. We tested positive for like CO2 poisoning and um, they gave us some oxygen, sent us on our way. Fire investigators are still looking into what started the fire. Several hotel rooms were destroyed in the blaze. Joanne Aguilera is doing much better tonight. They have moved her to a different hotel room at this hotel. She tells me if it wasn't for the hotel cook that was pounding on their door this morning, things could have been much worse. Reporting live in Port Wyneme, Kelsey Gerkins, Ford News Channel 3. Okay,